Good day everyone, I am Rose D. Banda and the title of my research proposal is Customer Satisfaction Towards Online Shopping in Dipolog City Basis for a Marketing Strategy for Shopee So in Chapter 1, no, the problem and its scope The Chapter 1 includes the introduction, the theoretical framework, the conceptual framework, the statement of the problem, null hypothesis, significance of the study, scope and delimitation of the study and the definition of terms so in the introduction no e-commerce often known as online shopping has become an increasingly important element of the global economy in recent years e-commerce activities are expanding in tandem with the expansion of the country's internet infrastructure since most filipino filipinos have better access to the internet there has been an increase in the number of companies that rely on online transactions so here is my introduction and then the, the theoretical framework of the study. So this study is anchored from the theoretical support of the expectancy disconfirmation theory, which was developed by Richard L. Oliver in 1977 and 1980. Now this theory is the most widely accepted theory concerning customer satisfaction processes. The theory holds that satisfaction or dissatisfaction results from a customer's comparison of performance with predetermined standards of performance. So, there are three possible outcomes of the comparison as pa are possible. Number one is the positive disconfirmation, which occurs when performance is perceived to be better than the predetermined expectations. And then the zero disconfirmation occurs when performance is perceived to be equally or exactly equal to expectations customers are likely to be satisfied. And then finally, the negative disconfirmation occurs when performance is lower than expectations. The, the expectation theory involves the four primary constructs. Now the expectations, perceived performance, disconfirmation of beliefs, and satisfaction. So expectations refer to the attributes or characteristics that a person anticipates or predicts will be associated with an entity such as a product, service, or technology artifact. And then the perceived performance um, means that it refers to a person's perceptions of the actual performance of a product, service, or technology artifact. And then the disconfirmation of beliefs refers to the judgments or evaluations that a person um, makes with respect to a product, service, or technology artifact. And then the satisfaction, no, the satisfaction is directly influenced by disconfirmation of beliefs and perceived performance and is directly influenced by both expectations and perceived performance by means of imaginational relationship. This, which passes through the disconfirmation construct. So here is my uh, conceptual framework. Uh, in the it includes the the variables of my study. So in the first part, no, it's the input, the demographic profile of the respondents, which are customers of Shopee in terms of their age, their sex, the civil status, the occupation, and their monthly income. And then in the second part is the process, no, the data collection of online shopper, shoppers' profile. Then an administering questionnaires. Third is the organization of shoppers' responses and the statistical analysis of data. And then in the last part is my output, the output of my study, which is the marketing strategy for Shopee. And then go into the feedback. And then the, the statement of the problem. The research will assess customer satisfaction with online shopping in Dipolog City as a basis for marketing strategy for Shopee. Now, specifically, the study seeks to answer the following question. Number one, what is the demographic, demographic profile in terms of age, sex, civil status, occupation, and their monthly income? Number two, as perceived by online shoppers, what is their extent of customer satisfaction towards online shopping in the expectation disconfirmation model, such as expectations, perceived performance, disconfirmation of beliefs, and satisfaction? Third is, what is the average gap 
between the customer's expectations from perceptions of the expectation disconfirmation of online shopping. Fourth one is, is there a significant difference between customer satisfaction in online shopping and the demographic profile of the respondents? Fifth is, what marketing strategy will be crafted to attain customer satisfaction? So my, the null hypothesis of this study was there is no significant difference between the customer satisfaction, the expectations, perceived performance, this confirmation of beliefs and satisfaction, and the demographic profile of the respondents in terms of their age, sex, and civil status. And then, uh, next is the significance of the study. Now, the findings of the study can benefit the following. Number one is the online shoppers. Now, this study is beneficial to online shoppers for this will be able to reassess their current practices in shopping online. And then, second is the online shopper sellers. Now, this study is beneficial to online sellers for this will be their guide on what specific strategy to use in order to attain customer satisfaction. And then, the next one is the entrepreneurs. Now, this study is beneficial to entrepreneurs for they will be able to know the practices to determine which aspect of their business that needs to be developed. And then the future researchers. Now, this study is beneficial to future researchers as this study will be the ready reference in conceptualizing uh, the uh, other related study. The scope and the limitation of the study. So, the study is confined to Barangay Galas and Barangay Central in the Polo City only. It is also limited based upon the customer satisfaction towards online shopping and the expectation disconfirmation model such as expectations, perceived performance, disconfirmation of beliefs, and satisfaction. The data collected for this study will be limited to 350 respondents only. And then the definition of terms, the customer satisfaction, which means a measurement that determines how happy or satisfied online shoppers are with a company's products, services, and capabilities. Then online shopping, a process where shoppers directly buy goods, services, etc. from a seller, a seller without an intermediary service over the internet. And then the merchants, it refers to a person or company that sells goods or services exclusively through the internet. And then the expectation disconfirmation model, now a model that posets that online shoppers compare the performance of a service against their expectations of that service. And then e-commerce, it is also known as electronic commerce or internet com commerce, refers to the buying and selling of goods or services using the internet and the transfer of money and data to execute these transactions. And then in the chapter 2, no, which includes the review of related studies. So here is my related literature. So in the chapter T of the study, you know, it's, it was titled the research methodology. Um, this study presents the research method, the research environment, the research respondents and sampling, research instrument and validity, and research proce procedure in gathering data and treatment of data. So in the research method, this study used descriptive research design, which is quantitative design. Descriptive research design is used to describe various aspects of phenomena being studied. The data to be described are the socio-demographic profile of the respondents. Survey questionnaires are frequently used to collect descriptive data. The study was focused on the customer satisfaction towards online shopping to craft a marketing strategy to attain customer satisfaction. So, uh, the research environment so, Dipolog City is subdivided into 21 barangays, namely the Barra, Biasong, Central, Kogon, Dikayas, Diwan, Istaka, Galas, Gulayon, Lugdungan, Minawog, Miputak, Ulingan, Punta, San Jose, Sangkol, Santa Filomena, Santa Isabel, Sinaman, and Torno. But the study covered two of the 21 barangays only, namely Galas and Central Barangay. The researcher mostly find the respondents who are near, rooming around the two said barangays. This will significantly give the polognons their uh, view into how engaged they are in online shopping.
Then the research respondents and sampling. So the researchers selected 350 participants around Barangay Galas and Barangay Central Dipolog City, Zumbuanga del Norte. The researcher will give sets of survey questionnaires to the respondents being assessed. The, the participants are highly needed to complete this study to determine customer satisfaction towards online shopping. A, pur a purposive sampling was employed by the researcher to obtain the desired number of the respondents serve as the sources and of information of this study. Purposive sampling describes as the random selection of sampling units within the segment of the population. So, next one is the research instruments and validity. No? So, the researcher used a survey questionnaire which is appropriately structured to analyze the factors they, that influence customer satisfaction towards online shopping on Shopee. The, the design of the questionnaire has two sections. So, in the first part, the demographic information of the respondent was defined, such as its details. And in the second part, now the, the independent variables and the dependent variable were, were compiled and evaluated during the survey. In the measurement of the structures, now, the Likert five-point scales anchored by 1, strongly agree, 2, agree, 3, neither agree nor disagree, 4, disagree, and 5, strongly disagree, is applied in the questionnaire with adaption of the current literature from different sources. The, the instrument was presented to the selected online shoppers in Barangay Central and Barangay Galas in the city of Dipolog for content validation. Suggestions of the aforementioned uh, online shoppers were incorporated and the final form of the instrument was made and was pilot tested. So in the last part of the chapter three is the research procedure. No, gathering In the gathering of data, the researcher will give letter of approval to undergo the study in Barangay Central and Barangay Galas in Dipolog City. And when it is approved, the researcher will give questionnaires to all respondents individually. Now, all respondents will be informed that participation of the study is voluntary and they can withdraw their participation anytime. After gathering the data, it will be consolidated, analyzed, interpreted, and the findings will be determined. Findings will be checked whether all of the specific statements of the problem are being answered so as to come up conclusions and recommendations. So in the treatment of data, the, stati the statistical tools used was the weighted mean to analyze the data gathered to determine the average responses of the respondents of different options and factors under the questionnaire. And then the one-way ANOVA tests was used to determine the significant difference on customer satisfaction in terms of the demographic profile variables of the respondents. So here is my references. Uh, that's all for my presentation. Thank you and God bless everyone.